So at Trustpilot, we uh, build a service that helps online businesses gather reviews, um, both on their uh, service and the products. We kind of expose those uh, reviews to different services. Google, uh, both in search and in, uh, in the Google Ads, but uh, we also build products on top that helps businesses uh, convert uh, better. Typically our clients are e-commerce services, but uh, these days, uh, I mean, it's all online business. So from the business point of view, it enables us to deliver products much, much quicker. We can often build uh, products on top of already existing APIs. We can do integrations and so on. Uh, from a directly kind of, if I talk with one of my sales guys, then uh, what they like about APIs is that it's an upsell that enables our clients to do very deep integrations. Doing that, well, that's just benefiting us and our clients to, do, uh, to get much more value out of the product they're buying already. When we started off with APIs, I think our goal was to kind of build an API we could expose to our clients and partners. Uh, as the more we got into things, it turned out to not become the primary objective, it actually became secondary objectives, and the primary objective became uh, to build a service and a product that scales and is decoupled from each other. So we, we went actually very quickly with a uh, microservice architecture that enabled us to uh, move extremely quickly within technology, deliver products uh, much quicker, um, and as a side or a bonus to, towards that, we enabled uh, our clients and partners to integrate very deeply with us we enable to um, uh, have teams working just on top of the APIs, building integrations to e-commerce or other, and we enable partners to join up and syndicate our uh, data uh, on their sites that could be price compliance sites, for example. So uh, we, we do not publicly expose it. Uh, the, API, uh, the documentation is available for everyone to see, and we tell that we have it but it's something you have to contact Trustpilot to get. Uh, the APIs are kind of, we primarily have two uh, case studies partners where we are very open to, to I mean, enter a partnership uh, and ha allowing other software as a services uh, to benefit from the APIs. And our clients who is uh, usually having a, a kind of a contract with us, paying some money for that. And as part of that, uh, they might or might not get access to the APIs. So to understand how we use Abigi, it's important to know that how we started off with Abigi. And for us, it was important to uh, find a platform where we can move very, very quickly and not spend a lot of internal resources on building something that is not our primary resource or primary kind of skill. So, so what we, that's why we picked Abigi. And that's also, we, we didn't believe that we could internally build a product that uh, would be an API product that would be able to deliver analytics, uh, tracking at a high scale uh, out of the box, and we couldn't prioritize that in the business. So that's why we went with Abigail. And that's also the products we use. The analytics parts, the authentication, being able to cache kind of at high scale, this is the important part. It's difficult to say how we exactly do it. I think what we try to uh, is not to tell how we do it, but more to enable that we can do it. So we build up teams that are very, very uh, independent, cross-organizational, that work uh, cross-organization with different types of skills. So there's both, uh, I mean, uh, business people, there's engineers, there's marketing within the teams, analysts within the team, and they're able to deliver a full product, the entire stack. Um, and that without kind of being dependent, or at least at a minimum level, being dependent on other teams. That means that they are very, 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 very quickly able to uh, uh, change direction, hire more uh, people, and that's the way we uh, envision to uh, continue to be in, in, in Mason. So we use data uh, from the APIs to track the uses of APIs. We, we use that internally to see how the product is used, how, um, how we can improve it, both to see if there's problems, but also to see where we are succeeding. Um, we want to build more of the pro uh, products that is popular, not 
uh, the other way around. Um, on top of that, we try to expose some of the data and usage uh, uh, to our clients and partners so they can benefit uh, from the data as well. Uh, and we try to aggregate it with our tracking, uh, tr more traditional tracking information like web tracking, uh, to really aggregate the data and be able to take uh, business decisions based on all these kind of things. I think the next step for us is to continue the phase. We, we, we are 100% sure that this is the right path for us. So it's continuing uh, having more clients and partners use our APIs. Uh, particularly, we, uh, I personally uh, encourage our partners to join up. We would lo love to see more uh, software as a service uh, partners join Trustpilot. Uh, that could be uh, social media monitoring tools or, uh, or price comparison sites that kind of want to benefit from having reviews on their side. Start coding where you will on, deliver, and accept that you will fail, because you will, but do it in a way that you fail quick, so that you can uh, do the next situation better and improve. I love APIs because it makes us move more agile and innovative.